Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Milky Plays, Skies of Arcadia Legends. You might be asking yourself where I am. Well, there's Doc's ship right there. I went back and I went to every dungeon in the game. And I went back and I grabbed some moonfish that I had missed. I had missed one Hi. in Moonstone Mountain. The only one in Moonstone Mountain. I had missed one in Pirate Isle. And I think I might have grabbed one from somewhere else, but I can't remember what it was. But, uh, yeah, I've got two or three moonfish that I didn't have before, and that is something I really want to get done. So, here we go. Eat it. Give me them sweet items, man. Yes, 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 the thing's getting big. It's going to hork things on me, and I will gladly receive them. Vomit unto me the items. Airball. I received the marksman gun. Ooh, how nice. Thank you for always bringing fish for me. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were going to get a cutscene after me just giving away the first one. Look how much Piccolo has grown. Whoa. And you think he used to be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. He's pretty freaking big. You really don't get a sense of it when you're looking at him while you're feeding him, but holy crap, that is a big bird. Tell me about it. Who'd have thought that it'd grow this big? Piccolo, let's go play over there. Chirp. Maria, be careful. If that big guy starts running around, this rickety old ship won't hold together long. I know. Piccolo, come on. Over here. I just wanted to thank you, Vice. Because of you and your crew, Maria has finally come out of her shell. She's become herself again. In return, well, that's a strange way to put it, but in return, I, I'll tell you the rest of my story. It's hard for me to talk about it, but if Maria can be strong enough to get over her past, I can't sit here and dwell on my past either. I guess I've finally become strong enough to realize that. Doc, well, if you must know, then I'll tell you. I'll tell you of the tragedy that befell Ramirez. This is a good thing to know before going into the final battle. It's lore time. Depend on a person too much, and they will betray your trust sooner or later. Or so Galshian told Ramirez. Maybe that hit a little close to home. I don't know. But for whatever reason, Ramirez began to snoop around for information regarding Mendoza. And that's when we found out that that Mendoza was using the Ixatakans as slaves for his own personal profit. He forced the Ixatakans to work a few extra hours here and there and pocketed all the extra moonstones that they found for himself. The shock of this discovery was almost too much for Ramirez to bear. He went directly to Admiral Mendoza and confronted him. My lord, is, is it true? Is it true about the Moonstones and the Ixatakan slaves? I won't lie to you. Yes, it is true. But what's the problem? Is there something wrong with making money, with desiring wealth and power? You are forcing Ixatakans to work grueling hours in inhumane conditions. My lord, you promised me. You told me that you would speak to Her Majesty in regards to the way the Ixatakans were being treated. <laughs> you truly are naive, aren't you? And what exactly do you think would have happened if I did that? Her Majesty would find out about my little scheme, and I would basically be signing my own death warrant. How, how could you lie to me like that? It is quite unfortunate that things had to turn out this way, Ramirez. To think I thought of you as a son. Regardless, you have uncovered my plans and have left me with no choice. Guards seize him. Everything. All that I believed in. Arr! Yeah. Bet you friggin' Ramirez killed the crap out of them. 
By the time I got there, it was already too late. The guards, even Admiral Mendoza, they had all fallen under Ramirez's blade. Ramirez, what, what have you done? I'm sorry, Doc. But I can no longer trust humans. I can no longer remain here. Wait, Ramirez, where are you going? Goodbye, Doc. Ramirez that you knew is no more. He died the moment I drew my blade against Admiral Mendoza. From now on, I will only believe in strength. I shall only follow those with power. Wait, Ramirez! Ramirez! And Ramirez! And he's gone! And so Ramirez went to Galshian's side, and I believe you know the rest of the story. I had spent so much time with both Mendoza and Ramirez, and yet I could do nothing to stop this tragedy from happening. Only I had the strength to stop him. Mendoza, Ramirez, even Maria, all of their lives would have turned out so much differently. I know, I know, I'm going to stop living in the past. I just gotta keep looking forward and hope for the best. And besides, I think it's a blessing that I was able to save Maria from the burning wreckage of the... Aquila? Uh -huh. Aquila, that name. Wait a second there, Fina, you don't think. But I heard some air pirates that were passing through the area helped save most of the crew after we left, though. Hey, Doc, Maria wouldn't happen to have an older sister, would she? Actually, she did. Wait, did I forget to tell you that? Well, unfortunately, she went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happened to her. Poor Piastol. It bothered me for years that I couldn't save both of them. Vice, then it is her. Uh -huh. No doubt about it. Maria and Piastol are long-lost sisters. We gotta tell Piastol. He has still said that she would come fight us again sometime. When we see her, we'll have to tell her everything we know. What she does with this information is up to her. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. I don't think I'm done yet. But anyway, yeah, we had to do that in order to get the last fight with Pistol, of course. Hi. I'm gonna feed more moonfish to the bird and I guess after we're done that we're gonna go straight to fighting Piastol because why not I'm sure it should be triggered by now because the end game is looming the gun last time maybe it's a good gun I don't know what do I get this time I received the Hydra Wing, the Silver Arm, and the Serpent Strike. Well, that isn't just three weapons for three different people. And I got the Marksman Gun, so I guess that's a weapon for Gilder. Ah, yes, okay. I had gotten third. I think this should be the last one. It's changing! There he is. There's our fully grown boy. He has a little soft serve swirl on his head now. Good for him. Wow, he just keeps getting bigger and bigger. At this point, he should probably just fly aside the ship. <laughs> well, I think if anything ain't that many moonfish, he'd grow at least half as much. But I bet that Maria is real happy that he's grown so much, huh, Doc? You'd think so, but life doesn't always turn out the way you'd expect. Piccolo, he wants to go home. Huh? Piccolo has grown wings, so now he's saying he wants to go home. Home to where all his friends are. I think he has a point, though. If we don't return him to nature, he'll never find any of his own kind, let alone some find someone to marry. Not that birds marry each other, generally. 
Well, the one thing that's keeping me worried is that if this guy leaves, Maria is going to fall into depression again. Uncle Doc, I... I'll be fine. Maria? Ever since Daddy and my sister went away, I've been so lonely. I think that Piccolo feels lonely too. I'm going to miss him, but I think he should go home so he won't be lonely anymore. <laughs> I have you and Vice to take care of me too. I don't have to be lonely anymore. Well, you sure have grown, Maria. Vice, I Thanks. don't know how to thank you. To think that this is the same Maria that I've been caring for all these years. I can't believe it. I owe everything to you. And, and away he goes. Hey, looks like he's getting ready to leave. Sort of reminds you of when we left Pirate Isle, eh, Vice? Bye, Piccolo. Goodbye, Piccolo. Be nice to your new friends and come back to see me sometime. How was that noise? Like if you knew somebody for years, but they never said anything, and then once they're finally leaving your life, they just say like goodbye and their voice doesn't match their face or body at all. <laughs> it's like some really big, burly, like husky looking dude with a very high pitched voice. Could catch you off guard. I found the moon, Hamachow. Hamachoo. Thanks to the air pirate Vice and his friend Doc, the, mis the mysteries of the moon Hamachoo have been solved. Once fed a moonfish, the Hamachoo will grow undergo a metamorphosis and will eventually return home to its nest. Discovery will go down in history. Discovery also wasn't in the base game. Legends content. Well, first of all, I know that Piastol is going to be hanging around out here somewhere. Something to that effect. Right? I'm like, or just like over here. I can't even remember, but I'll know when I see it. I suppose that away. First, check out these new weapons. Ooh, the Hydra Wing, a boomerang modified by the Valuant Army with a reinforcement for close quarters combat. I don't know how we pulled that out of a bird, but that's pretty neat. Uh, she doesn't get anything. Still there. What about you? The marksman gun. Has higher hit. Slightly lower attack. But it can cause instant death with a good shot. So I guess it has a random chance to do the instant kill. It's weaker, better hit. I mean, Gilder doesn't really have any difficulty hitting things. And for losing, like... 70 attack power, almost. Stick with the Gilder special, to be perfectly honest. And the other weapons belong to the other characters who I don't have the opportunity to pick yet. Because I can't remember how we do that. Well then, another thing I have to do is, of course, go get the black spot from Pia Stahl so that she can say, like, hey, we're going to fight again, and then she can go to kick my ass. Which is likely to occur without Enrique, because his Justice Shield would just be incredibly useful. So I'm still going to try. That's mine. Thank you very much. I'm still going to try. But I don't have a lot of confidence. <laughs> Because she's going to be even more of a pain in the ass now than she's ever been. That one, whatever move she does where she fucking spin kicks and slashes you a bunch. That's going to be an instant kill to whoever gets it. 
as far as I know. And she's going to be casting instant death silver spells and all of that pain in my ass shit. That's Baltor. You're not the right person. You go. He is out here. Somewhere. Right? I can't remember where she is. Oh no. Well, that just looks like Gordo. That's Gordo's ship. You're not the right one either. I'm getting the impression that all of our allies are just, you know, setting up a weird flotilla out here, and, and that's great, but not at all who I want to find. I'll go back to Sailor's Island. All right, maybe I'll just cut it here and, and, and figure out where she is and then come back to you because I don't want to be wandering around doing nothing. So, be right back. Okay, welcome back. I finally found her, because I swear to God, Soltis being risen has moved shit around, because for the longest time I could not see her. I think it's also dampened the visibility. It's like permanently cloudy in that area, and I just could not see her for the life of me. But we are here now. It will be our final battle. Beast, I'll wait a second. There's something we need to tell you. Nothing can save you now. The only thing I desire is to watch Vice fall by my hand. It is all I live for. I will defeat you. The last seven years of my life rests on the outcome of this very battle. On guard. Well, I guess she didn't want to listen. As we expected. I shall have my revenge at last. And you can... Sure as hell try, lady. First, kill the dog. Always kill the dog. Also, Delta Shield, just in case magic happens. Focus, and you can help kill the dog. Well, 800 damage on, on just a regular attack is kind of painful. No poison, thank you. <laughs> Life is hard enough. Don't need your help. Damn. I mean, I could save up for a prophecy. Make it nice and slow. As much damage to the dog as humanly possible. And hope to God Fina doesn't get breathed on and killed. You can take a regular-ass attack just fine. Ah, Tempest Dance. Here's the one that I fear. <laughs> You've made that excessively long now. Goddamn. It hurt? Ah... Uh. The dog can use Sacrum now? Well, hot damn. Hot damn, Gilda, you didn't do any damage to that fucking thing. It must have a very high resistance to purple element shit. Hit him with a moon. The only, it's the only chance we got. Hit him with the moon. Delta shield. Gonna need you to... Oh hell, you know what? I can focus. I'll get Gilder to do it. Because if I don't bother to change his element, he's not doing much damage to that thing anyway. That's just me. You're just upset that I'm blocking your magic. 
Damn, that killed the shit out of her. This is why I miss Enrique. I miss him a lot. Because <laughs> that wouldn't have hurt nearly as much. Yeah, take a critical hit, you fuck. This should work. Well, Vice is okay. That's good. Okay, guard. Gilder, the only man who could possibly live through a tempest dance. Gonna get Ica back up. Now what is she doing? Ow! Incredibly painful. Now this asshole's poisoning me. Cool. still use a prophecy. It's gonna leave Gilder in, in a bad way, but if I can at least kill the dog, then we'll have made some kind of progress. Prophecy! work out nicely. I would have done a blue rogues because that would have healed everybody and done some damage but I don't think it would have done enough. I will gladly do it next time. Good. The dog is gone. Now Gilder's gone. That's unfortunate. great. Everything's great. You're nice and quick. We're going to defend. Oh no. Should have used the anti-magic shit. Wow. Awesome. Don't you just love, like, Instant death spells? Don't you just fucking love it? I know I do. <laughs> Shit. I miss Enrique so much. He would have made this so much easier. Let's see. You know what? I have two auras of valor. I may as well just fucking use one. I'm not going to be one of them bitch asses who sits on this really cool awesome item until the end of the game and then still somehow manages to never use it and just shoot pistol it's just for the hell of it just to prove that we could Yes, give me all the spirit. I'm gonna cheese the shit out of you and I ain't even ashamed. Not after what you just fucking did to me. Die in a gutter already, Jesus. I don't even care about reuniting you with your sister anymore, you're just an asshole. if it'll kill the dog in one go. Oh, Poochie holds on. Don't like that. Gonna need to pump out some damage real quick on the dog. I have the Aura of Denial and I have the Claudia, which is Gilder's last 
big super attack and, and, and I've used it once and that was the first time I've ever used it because I've never bothered to get it before. Yeah, he just fires cannons from his ship and it hits all of the enemies. It's the strongest hit every enemy on the screen thing in the game. I mean, not bad, I guess. Let Vice handle the dog. Why are you killing Gilders so much? Oh, Lord! Her basic attacks cause paralysis or, or, or petrification, as it were. That's pretty cool. Love that. Hear a crystal going and just quick defense, just in case something bad happens. Oh no, you're not gonna do it to me again, are you? God damn it. She did it again. Jesus. Two times now in a row. Alright. Alright, you fucking bitch. Add it up to here with your shit. Not only am I going to cheese the shit out of you, but I will get an Incrimis off so that it hurts more. Alright. So evidently, I have to do Delta Shield every turn with Ica, no matter what I want out of the, out of the equation. It just needs to happen that way. So, I could get you to shoot the dog. I'm going to do that with red gun, and it's going to hurt a lot. Die. Take this. Oh, awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. for me, you damn dog. Ah, oh, and an exhaust. Is there no end to the level of fucking buffoonery that you people inflict upon me? Ah, oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, magic. Stick to the plan. Stick into the plan. From box, I guess. Please attempt to cast smells on me. Just for, you know, one turn. No, nope, you're gonna do that, are you? Bitch. great and all, but I can't even use the attack without Vice being present. So I need to solve that problem. <laughs> Joyous day. Uh, the one time I get Athena to do something, she's going to get killed. Why do I have to be on the defensive for so goddamn long? God damn it. I hate it when I'm right. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Why? <laughs> Why does this have to happen to me? Well, that's not going to accomplish anything, Gilder. 
Congratulations. Okay, well, we need Vice to be alive again, so please do that for me, if you would be so fucking kind. Now she's not casting the stupid spells at all, even though I'm trying to make sure she just doesn't do that. <laughs> It's the one thing that I'm prepared for, so of course she's not gonna fucking do it! Now we have Vice available. That's pretty neat. Can't do a prophecy, can only do a blue rogue. The rogues will heal everybody. Don't think it'll bring Fina back to life. So that's not gonna be very helpful in that regard. Gotta be something I can do. Putting all of our eggs in the one basket. Let's see how it works. On guard. Oh, cool. Gonna kill Fina. That's not Fina. Fina's already dead. It's gonna kill Ika. All right. With this obnoxiously long attack, and I just wish she'd stop. You tried to kill him. You tried. Now you've exhausted him. That's cool. This should work. Ugh. <sighs> Don't have Ike anymore. Now she can cast the magic and I'll just die. And that's a real big pain in my ass right now. All I'm doing is delaying the inevitable if I just use a different strategy. Jacqueline, well that's not what I wanted. That's okay. She's going to kill everybody but one person anyway. This is monumentally uncool. Oh, I'm so fucked. Super move. Okay. Lunar light, we're doing a reset. Yeah, cool. Everybody's back alive and full health again. All right. How is she gonna kill Fina? Just outright. This time, point, I'm losing patience. Banking on a prophecy just isn't working out for me. I might just use the other goddamn attack. And just hope for the fucking best. I can't even get it now. That's neat. Especially like that part. Shield and a wrestling. Please, please just make this happen. On guard. Just dance again because the enemies don't have the resources that I have. Making battles just inherently unfair. And now Vice is dead. Lovely. Well, Noxus isn't gonna do jack shit. So thanks for that. This should work. Oh no. Everything's going wrong all of the time. <laughs> All the time. 
you know, just just get him up, would you? Please, please, just get him up. Would the Claudia even help? I'm gonna give it a try. I'm just gonna give it a try and see what fucking happens. No, oh, man. No. Enrique is just a necessity for this fight, isn't he? Just to keep this from happening every single turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, Noxus. Eat a bag of dicks. Let's try this. Well, we've never seen this before, so I'll let everybody watch it. At least we're getting this out of it. Making them all cool and shit. You mess with me, you mess with Claudia. You know how much damage it does. Oh. Disgusting. It was so pointless. Okay. Maybe I can do a nice pirate's wrath on the dog and just get rid of it. And just hope to God. Switch you back to your element, my friend. Okay, I was like, oh my god, is she going for Fina? Please don't. That's gonna fuck everything up. Might kill Vice outright, too, which is also just not cool. Nope, Vice can live. Thank god. Yeah, 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 just kill the fucking dog, please. Thank you. This is when she starts usually using the magic. Damn, killed her. <laughs> You're just not being very effective this fight at all. You're really a hindrance. Okay. 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 Um... <laughs> Shield, guard, and if you'd be so kind, Gilder, as to maybe heal Vice. Bring it up. Yes, so Vice is defending, will automatically counterattack any normal attacks that come his way. And she's gonna decide to try and get us with fucking silver magic. This well, good. Work. Good. At this point, that's very good. She's just giving up her goddamn turns. That's what we want. That's what we need. We need her to give up her turns. That's that. And uh, do that. And guard. And you do something to fix yourself. I don't know what. <laughs> Anything. I don't care. Ay, 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 ay. Whatever, your HP is probably a little more important than recovering from poison, although it is on my list of things to do. Don't worry. Well, Vice will live through that again. Barely, but he'll win. <sighs> well, this work. better that than dead, I guess. Moons, give me strength. Yes, give me the attack and defense. Oh, no. I should have known. I knew that would happen. God damn it. I know that that is a 
fucking thing that happens. Well, god fucking shit fuck. <laughs> okay. Just get yourself, buddy. Just get yourself. If you just be so kind as to get yourself. Hopefully she casts magic. She is. It's a blue spell. I was not expecting. <laughs> uh, Gilder attacks and her health bar doesn't even move. Try the increments again. Because I'm doing this, I won't be defended against magic. So I'm just kind of gambling on the idea that she's not going to do anything magic. I don't need to recover any mana. I don't need that. That is not something that is important to me. Here. I mean, if. This doesn't go exactly the way I want it to go. Everything's gonna go to fuck anyway. Well, at least it wasn't magic. It's something that ice can barely live through. Oh. Starting to come together. Thank God. Once I get a sort of motion going on where she's only really killing one person max during any particular round, I should have a pretty good shot. Oh, that was a stutter. Don't know why. It was. And it was there. <laughs> Stuttering. I think just heal himself. Just heal yourself, please. You're faster than Gilder is, and that's what's important. Oh, we can just shoot the chicken. Hope for the best. Oh, thank God. Yes, please, keep casting magic. Like the last fight we had, where you did, like... Three rounds straight of casting magic. And it gave me an incredible advantage. Now that's some damage. It does a lot of damage to you, but that is some damage. Alright. Let's just do a buffed up prophecy. Do as much damage to her. Three round. Whale Indoor. From this point on, it'll probably just be using Pirate's Wrath for advice. Like, as often as I am able to. Another episode running long today. God, it would be so sexy if I could just keep doing that. That would be great. Feel... Card. Uh, maybe recover your hit points a little bit. A little bit there, my good friend. Scary crit. Right, that only gives me 500 HP. That's not enough. I guess maybe I'll just use a Zagrulin. I'm rolling in money anyway. I'll just buy more. Oh yeah. Fuck you. Finally, the one thing that I was preparing for actually happened. Yes, critical hit. Shit up, man. Gotta keep it up. Field, defend, and attack. There we go. This is the role we're going with right now. We will recover hit points as necessary. Should do less damage. 
Yeah, because of the buff. It's not going to be a lot less, but it's less. My turn. Crack open a Petsu while I'm doing this. Why the hell not? <laughs> oh, bitch, you're gonna die. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but you're going to die. Okay, well. Rulin Crystal. Where in the hell did I leave those? Using them this whole time, I should probably know the answer to that question. On guard. Oh, she's gonna kill Iko. I mean, at this point, she didn't kill Ika. Amazing. With the Incremus buff, Ika can actually survive it. Oh, this chick needs to die like yesterday. I mean, if Ika attacks her, she'll die, right? Fuck it. Hail Mary. Price is at full health, right? Yes, so he's fine. We win and everybody gets the experience. Ah! One smack in the back of the head by a friggin' boomerang is all it took. That was a close one. If that is the first time we've heard you say that, I think. Ten thousand experience. And a light dress. That's neat. Ah, well, you killed me twice. But then we retconned it and that never happened. He is still. I knew I would lose. We fought you three times already and I knew I was no match for you. Only a fool would think otherwise. And I know that you weren't lying. Then, then why? Why'd you still fight? Why? Why would you do that, you crazy bitch? If it wasn't you air pirates that took my father's life, then what have I been... What have the last seven years of my life been for? For what reason have I fought, alone, all these long years? I lost my reason for living. No, it was wrong for me to only live for revenge in the first place. And this is why I thought that I deserved to die by your hand cleanse myself of this lie that I have lived. Eostal, not being so difficult. Eostal, near Sailor's Island, there's a small doctor's ship. Go find it. Doc and your sister Maria are aboard that ship. What? You're lying to me. I shall make you pay with your life. Hey now, didn't you just say you believed us? You better do something about that temper of yours. Is it really true? Can I trust you? But no, I can't see them. Not like this. Not as the angel of death. I can't let them know what has become of me. Oh, come on. Relax, Piastal. Just go see them already. I'm sure that Doc and Maria would be more than happy to see you too. Now get going. We don't have time to sit here and smell the roses. We've got sailing to do. Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to tell you one thing. Fiestal, you're not the angel of death. You never were. You've always been Maria's older sister. Just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you the same. Bye, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Fucking 
flawless victory, bitch. Not from the two times you killed me, but Vice has just defeated you physically and emotionally. You're doomed. Maybe we'll see you again somewhere out in this big blue sky. Until then, Piastal. Bye. See you later. Fuck you for killing me so many times. God damn it. Well, that's the end of it. That is the end of that. We'll see that resolve. Oh, pardon me. Pop makes me burpy. We'll see that resolve another time. But for now, I, uh, yeah, that's it. We're done here. We're done with that entire side quest. I got a light dress, which I'm pretty sure is something I've had before. Yeah, its defense is incredibly low. <laughs> but its dodge and its uh, quickness is pretty good. Anyway, that's neat. <sighs> okay, now that that's over, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to Soltis and start beating the game. So I'm glad you guys got to see me get my ass beat. So many times, and for so long, like it's been almost an hour of recording, so I won't be taking up any more of your time. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.